So after shooting the videos for section 2.9, some of the problems were relabeled a little bit. And what I refer to as problem number 47 uh, here is now uh, relabeled in as uh, problem number 48. 2.9 gives us a situation in which a child is sliding down a slide that's shaped like a parabola. And we're asked to find an equation for the angle of decline um, in terms of x. So drawn, I've you know, graphed the parabola here. We're going to assume that the child is at this point here, which we'll refer to as x naught, y naught. And the angle of decline will be the point, be or the angle between the horizontal and the tangent line um, at the point, um, uh, the tangent t line tangent to the graph of the parabola at the point uh, x naught, y naught. Now, in order to uh, find theta, what we're going to do is use the inverse tangent because we can, if we, we see that the length of this horizontal here is just going to be, well, if we call this point x, uh, the point of intersection of the tangent line with the x-axis will be point x0. So we can see that delta x here will just be x minus x naught. And delta y will just be uh, y naught minus 0 or y naught. Now, then we can use uh, the inverse tangent, uh, or we can find the uh, inverse tangent of y naught, or y naught over delta x in order to find, um, or, or in order to solve for theta. Now, the key here is figuring out what exactly this point x is. Um, we're going to try to do that in terms of uh, in terms of x naught and y naught. So we can take the equation of the tangent line, which will be y equals uh, y naught plus m times x minus x naught. Now we're interested in the point when y equals zero. So if we let y equals zero. Uh, then we'll find the point and then solve for x to get our point, uh, point of intersection with the x-axis. So we end up with negative y naught uh, over, excuse me, negative y naught equals m times x minus x naught. And solving, for the, solving this for x will give us x minus x naught equals negative y naught over m. And now if we add x naught to both sides of the equation, we have that our point x is negative y naught over m uh, plus x naught. Now the slope, uh, slope m of the tangent line will just be the derivative of x squared evaluated at x naught. This will just be 2x evaluated at x naught or 2x naught. So we can now fill in the uh, information that we were missing before. Delta x is going to be x minus x naught, but x is negative y naught over m plus x naught. So x naughts cancel out and see that delta x is simply negative y naught over m, but m now is 2x naught. So now we can use the tangent and inverse tangent to solve for theta. Now notice that uh, tangent of theta Well, the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, so opposite is uh, y, or y naught, over the adjacent, which is uh, the change in x, or negative y naught over 2x naught. Here, the y naughts will cancel out, and we're left with negative 
to x0. Now we can take the inverse tangent of both sides. That will leave us with just theta on the left hand side and inverse tangent of negative 2 x naught on the right hand side, which is our function um, that gives theta in terms of x. Now, the second part of our problem asks us to find uh, the rate of change of theta with respect to x when x is equal to minus 1. Right. Now, I hope you noticed that when I was uh, solving for the, uh, the, a function of theta uh, in terms of x, that when sol looking at the slope, I looked at the slope at a specific point, x naught, y naught. It really should have been at just a general point, x. So the equation still holds just with uh, x substituted for x naught. So with that said, we'll go ahead and find out what the rate of change of theta is with respect to x, and then evaluate that at the point x equals 1. So d theta dx uh, will be equal to 1 over 1 plus the argument of the inverse tangent function squared. So 4x squared, and then multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is negative two, derivative of negative 2x, or just negative 2, which is then negative 2 over 1 plus 4x squared. Now, we're interested in the rate of change when x is equal to, equal to minus 1. So if we evaluate this, uh, at the point x equals minus 1, we see that we have negative 2 over 1 plus 4 times negative 1 squared is uh, 4, so two, negative 2 over 1 plus 4, or negative 2 fifths. Uh, and this will be measured, of course, in radians uh, per second. Now uh, so we can see that uh, when x is equal to minus one, the angle of de or the angle of decline is actually decreasing. Which, if we think about what would actually be happening as a child goes down this slide, uh, it does agree with our intuition.